already here in 2013 during the uh, exhibition match against Indonesia national team. So, what do you think about Indonesia back then? I made a mistake because I've been here before. I've been to Bali. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's 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 but, you know, next day in 2003, we played here. Yeah. Uh, and it was a great experience to be here. Yeah. And it's even better to be back now. Uh, looking forward to cheer on the Dutch team together tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's a great country. Well, you know, Jakarta is a, is a big city. Um, but we weren't here for it, uh, too long. But it was great to be here, to play in this beautiful stadium. Um, and uh, I think we won 3 0, so that was something good. <laughs> uh, no, but you know, even the fans were, you know, when, usually when you play an away game, then the, the fans are against you. But here, the fans were also for us, you know, it was just great to be here. Um, the, the, they were really fanatic and, and, yeah, really cheering, you know. Um, I think you know, I have no words to describe that. It was really fantastic, actually. And it was full house, I think. Yeah, I, I think it was full house. Yeah. I'm not sure, but you, you know better than yeah. me. I think how many people came came to the stadium? Back in 2013, I think it's like 80. Was 80k of the stadium capacity? Yeah, it was unbelievable. Yeah, <laughs> I've never played for such a big crowd. Yeah, yeah. and how was it feel managed by Ivan Hal? The manager, the manager, the same manager with this national team. Well, for me, it's looking back on the World Cup in 2014, brings back almost only good memories. Yeah. Uh, we went, we came there to win, which we didn't, we didn't win, of course, uh, but we won the bronze medal, and it was a great experience uh, to play a World Cup for myself, but with that team, with that coach, Van Gaal, who's now the coach as well. Um, yeah, it was something or well, you dream of as a young young boy to play a role in, in, in such a high uh, podium. And uh, yeah, I'm proud of it. You know, it's like it's not some, something what is uh, common or you know it just happens by itself. You have to work hard for that. Um, and yeah, I was able to do that, and I'm proud of it. And uh, yeah, to work on the Van Gaal is. This was something while when I was young, uh, I played for AZ and he was the coach there. We had some issues, but uh, yeah, we came back together and um, yeah, it was a totally different uh, experience. And he's looking at all the details, he is focused, he demands a lot from himself and also from all the people around him, so the players and the staff. So that's uh, yeah, he creates an, uh, an atmosphere to be successful and I think that's a big quality and that's why I also believe the Dutch team can go really far and uh, even win uh, this time in, uh, in Qatar. Pierre has advice to the young players to just have fun playing football. You know, if you don't have fun playing football then probably you should do something else because that's the most important thing. If you're happy and you feel good then it's the, that's the best uh, thing to develop. And if you don't, it's also with work. If you don't uh, like your work, you probably should find something else. It's not always easy, but it's it's, it's a, and that's the way I believe in. Because otherwise you cannot feel happy. So you know, just have fun and playing with your friends. And of course, when you get a little bit older, you also focus on winning more and more and more. Um, but still. Having fun is the most important thing. Selalu juga sasis gitu. Tapi sebagai dari kita mungkin nggak, nggak karena kita nggak 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 sering nonton liga Belanda, jadi nggak tahu nih pernah belajar. Sebenarnya seberapa bagus sih kualitas si kolega kau menurut Van Gaal gitu dan kolega kau ini juga kalau nggak salah musim panas yang kemarin itu juga sempat jadi salah satu ujaran Eric Ten Hag ke Milan sebelum pada akhirnya mereka memutuskan untuk Anthony gitu. Jadi kalau menurut Van Gaal Apakah jika Cody bisa pilih <coughs> sebelum entah itu pusat transfer musim dingin atau musim panas, apakah dia bisa berguna buat Emil gitu dan uh, itu saya juga terima kasih. So, a question. So, uh, there was a Cody from the last match, very outstanding from the match. 
he scored the goal. Uh, but <coughs> a lot of people they, they, they don't know you know Harry the Vision years and they don't know like uh Cody Gakpo has a great uh, statistic with PSV. So what do you think about about him? And the second question is also Cody Gakpo is you know uh, keen to leave to Manchester United because uh, and Ten Hag want him to be there. So what do you think about that? He has great potential and he's, a, he's already a very good player. Um, you know, he played a good game, but I think he can even do a lot better. But, you know, because he scored a goal, an important first goal uh, to win the game, um, yeah, that has a huge impact on, on media and how we uh, see the player. Yeah, he can go really far. It was not for nothing that uh, Manchester United wanted him in the summer, uh, and it will be more uh, expensive now after scoring uh, scoring this important goal. Uh, but, uh, yeah, how far he can he can come? He's still young. I don't know his age exactly, but um, yeah, I I think he works hard um, and he wants to develop every day. Yeah, I don't know where the, the sky's the limit, but. Yeah, where does he I don't know, actually, but yeah. You know, if he makes a step to Premier League, that will be important, or maybe to Spain, or, you know, you have to also try to uh, play in different uh, leagues, because, yeah, that gives you a lot of, uh, you, you learn a lot from that as well. Okay. Dan hari dari Bumasport.com Pengen tanya komentar ke Rufo Indonesia saat ini sedang mencari beberapa pemain keturunan di Belanda Artinya kemarin ada Chris Jelter, Sean Pindah, Kena Sebuah Puluh Belanda Terus ke Gabung ke Indonesia Lalu ada Tager Kain Depan Kinama Dan juga Sandy Walsh yang juga pemain dari Belanda Yang akhirnya memutuskan ke Gabung ke Indonesia Kalau tanggapan dari pemain mantan pemain Timas Belanda Seberapa pengaruhnya sih pemain yang sudah terlalu di Belanda untuk Timas Indonesia sendiri Lalu uh, setuju masih banyak pemain bagus di Belanda yang keturunan Indonesia dan negara kebun ke Indonesia. Terima kasih. So the question is about Indonesia national team. We are looking for some, you know, some talents that has Indonesian roots in Netherlands. Uh, so what do you think about about it? And you mean that maybe they can play for? Yeah, for Indonesia national team. I think, you know, I I know a few players who played here in uh, Indonesia, was uh, their colleagues with me now in the academy, like Nick van der Velde and uh, oh, Silvano yeah. Kupalius. Yeah. Um, but that's the, the Dutch players, of course. But um, I think, you know, if they're uh, not in the uh, squad for the Dutch team, yeah, you, all, you, you have to try. You know, if, you know, if they have the ambition to play for national team or Indonesian team, I don't know. But then, yeah, you have to try, and I don't know who uh, uh, who will. Um, but yeah, for me, it's a little bit a difficult, a difficult question to answer because yeah, I cannot see looking the heads of the, of the players. But I always should try. You know, a lot of players, you know, like uh, um, play for Curaçao now. They have also Dutch uh, roots, but they play for. Uh, they also have. Uh, could have shouted a lot and they, and they play because they have a chance to, to yeah, play big games you know to have uh, good experiences uh, there you know play in the Caribbean uh, area there and uh, that could be the same here of course and, and, and if, yeah, that has to grow you know you cannot go from one day to another and be from there to there but um, yeah it, it has to grow but it's possible I believe it yeah of course the vision of football, the tactics, something like that. But you know, the Netherlands uh, still known as you know people champions or uh, the champions without the crown in Indonesia. And so, what do you think about about it? Uh, haven't uh, haven't won the World oh. Cup yet, yet, because but still a lot of fans in here. Uh, yeah, I, I wish we had won it already. We've been in the final for three times. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's also a little bit the mentality. We
which just brings us the next step. And we work on that, of course, because you also try to develop and you know uh, look for what's necessary to get to the next step, and to the next level. Um, of, of course, sometimes it also, it's also a little bit of luck, um, but it's also something we can still aim for. So that's also something nice if you look at it in perspective. Um, yeah, I don't think, you know, we have had a lot of great players in history, um, but it's not players who win championships, it's teams who win the championships. So I think uh, that's also what uh, Van Gaal tries to do um, to get the best team, best teams, work the best together to achieve. Because, um, yeah, an individual player can make a difference in the game, but not in the whole league. So, of course, every country has its legendary players, um, but it's not like Messi is a legendary player, but he cannot win the World Cup on his own. So, I think that's the right uh, answer. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Oh, okay. So, how do you see the, you know, the today's the world in the world? Well, that's comparison, yeah. perhaps. We have some exceptional players, um, and we had some exceptional players in 2014. But I hope, and I believe this this year, but also 2014, the difference made the team. And uh, like I said before, nobody gave us a chance before we even started. Uh, we we reached really far, and uh, we almost got till to yeah to maximum. <laughs> Um, but, you know, we, we were still successful without winning gold medals. But um, I think that's possible again. Because I know what's happening in the hotel. That I don't know it because I don't see it. But I, I've experienced it in another uh, eight years ago. And I believe it's, it's, it's happening again. Uh, untuk Ampra, bagaimana tanggapan terkait kekuatan tim Ampra? Lalu apa bagaimana nantinya uh, Belanda akan bermain? Apakah tetap total football atau main menyerang uh, petak atau bagaimana untuk mencari kemenangan dalam Ekuador yang sudah pernah menang di Jakarta? Terima kasih. So there will be an important match against Ekuador, and the two teams can seal the tickets to Qatar. So, what do you think about Ecuador, and how do you see the, you know, the, the potential of the Netherlands team to be? Well, I believe we can win, <laughs> and uh, like we, we mentioned it before, there are no little or small teams no more. You know, uh, Ecuador beats uh, Qatar, uh, and they uh, deserve to win, and it's going to be another hard match to be uh, to beat them tomorrow again. But I believe in it uh, because I believe in the players. Uh, but yeah, I can believe a lot. But it still has to uh, happen tomorrow in the game. Um, and uh, if we work hard and we be at our best, then we have a chance. Uh, we have a good chance to uh, to beat Ecuador tomorrow.